exploration moat marine laboratory become a scientist <laughs> I'm excited for about this partnership. We are using science as a stepping stone for uh, literacy in the reading camp, the National Campaign for Reading. So the students are here doing what's called Become a Scientist. So they're learning about the tools and instruments used by a scientist and exploring to make observations and predictions. So I came into my office this morning and one of our scientists, Dr. Gray, was very, uh, I'll say agitated or upset. There's a mystery animal out there she couldn't figure out what in the world this mystery animal was. Is that this animal was covered in scales. And she knew that you guys were coming out today, so she asked me to ask you guys if you could help her figure out what this mysterious animal might be. So the first thing we need to try to do is figure out what type of water does this animal live in. So this bucket has water inside of it, which is where this animal lives. There's a scientific tool, this is called a hydrometer, but it measures how much salt there is in the water. So if you look through there, which, so this says fresh, brackish, and salt. Which one do you think it is? Which one? Right, it's excellent. This is a picture of the habitat and where this animal lives. So you're gonna look at this, make some observations. Raise your hand if you see any sand or beach. Let's look right here, look, there's a little bit of sand and beach. So safe to say this animal lives where there's a little beach. There's a little bit of water. Something that That's their lives home. In this is actually a piece of the animal. So we're gonna look at this carefully. Again, make some observations and think what in the world? Could it be? It's easier to use one eye at a time. We close this eye and then put that this eye on this lens. So maybe that'll help. We will also be using scales. And then you're gonna take it and you're gonna weigh it. Scientists will also weigh things. So you put it on there. Chemistry, but you're gonna be making some observations on what's the difference. We're gonna measure how the pH and carefully dip it in. Perfect, and pull it out. And then you're gonna look at the chart, try to match the color. Perfect. What were some of your ideas? Maybe a hermit crab is an excellent guess. Okay, good, maybe from a starfish. I think it's gonna be a manatee. Okay, good, maybe a manatee. A manatee's gonna live in the brackish of the salt water. Excellent. All right, I'm gonna go get the mystery animal. Hang tight for one second. The mystery animal is a turtle. This is called a diamondback terrapin. And he does live in brackish or salt water. But if you look at his feet, notice he has webbed feet. Remember his habitat was a beach and the water, so he lives in both. Sometimes he swims in the water, sometimes he comes out on the land. Each of you guys is gonna get a very special book. House for Hermit Crab. So each of you guys is gonna get one of these to take home and share with your family. Yeah, but when they see that book, and it's a book that we've already read at school, we've done some activities with, and so when they get it and see it, they're really gonna love that too. Now my house is perfect, cheer from a friend. And then there's gonna be a little, we'll call it a scientific journal back here, where you guys can write down some notes from what you read and what from you learned today, and then bring it back um, to your teachers. This is for your mom and dad. They fill this out, and if they turn it in, you will be mailed another book. Two scientist books. You know, in the classroom, they hear the teacher, and the teacher's sort of like, wah, wah, you know? And they come here, and they, it's hands-on, and they get to live it and see it. And the excitement, as you can see, <laughs> has been unreal. Near the window, when it's went by, it really surprised me. Okay, then you can write about that, can't you?